glimmer of an idea of what it must be like for Vaishnavas of that caliber to uh, to share the preaching mood together and to share the Krishna consciousness together on such levels. And I kind of feel like when, when Srila Prabhupada left us, most of us were pretty much like orphans. We were just little tiny babies in Krishna consciousness. And of course, he had injected so much love and faith in us, we had not even barely a glimmer of what it meant to practice bhakti or what this path might take us to. And then he just left us and we were pretty um, floundering. And so it took some time, like Sri Gurudev said a couple of days ago, before he, the time was just right for him to pick up that baton and carry it back here again and help those of us who are still valiantly trying to please our spiritual master and someday become Krishna conscious. So that's happening slowly but surely and quickly for some. And the mercy is, is here again. So I feel that um, Srila Prabhupada's connection, even just right here in San Diego, where he used to come here to this city, and the joy and the, the ecstatic Krishna consciousness that was going on, what was it, 30 years ago? 25 years to 30 years ago, when most of us were the same age as some of our children are now. And, uh, but it's very enlightening to see that that's, that Krishna consciousness is going on it's so much enthusiastic. I feel Srila Prabhupada's presence here so much, especially through the mercy of Srila Prabhupada.
Kami marah dan berbesar. Go 
Gawin the go pa like this. Supreme names of Supreme Lord. With melting hearts, tears in eyes, hairs in like men and galatas. Oh, this is called Sadha. This is of what? Annabilasita. This is so. That is, this is prima. How we will exercise it? How we will end the power? Satan Prasangam Vidya Sampito. Satan Prasangam Mama Vidya Sampito. Pamantarita Karnar Sajana. Tadjo Sanato Asu Apabat Babat Mani. Shabdharati Bhakti Yanukramis. If you are hearing sweet past and powerful past tense of Krishna, Krishna being Supreme Lord and Mother of Jasoda Gopi and in binding Krishna and Krishna is waving, looking very beautiful in meeting and naked also, Supreme Lord. And he is weeping, fearing her mother, and mother is chastising. Oh, you are very naughty boy, very naughty boy. Who can tell Supreme Lord, naughty boy? And she binded Krishna, all our appellants, where it went. Putana couldn't get rid of this small boy of six days. He had power of so many thousands of elephants, but could not get rid of it. And just with the earth sit down. Only that took And he forget his all supremacy and everything. Gyani Priyasam Dupasya Namantaiva. Jivanta Sanmukharita Kavadiya Vartam Sthani Sukhita Tanvan Kadoshya. Hearing these sweet past times, first Swamiji came and told that this is Supreme Lord. Now, by his order, I have come now and I am telling what? Try to forget Krishna Supreme Lord. <laughs> if he would be here, he would have also told the same thing. No. So try to forget Krishna and that Supreme Lord. Supreme Lord never weeps for makkhan and roti. Chapati. <laughs> he never tells lie, but he always tells lie. He has so, he is so much greedy like monkeys and playing with monkeys. In a moment he can oh, be angry. Oh, from the first he comes. So, hearing these sweet past times like these, giving up the empowering uh, that Krishna Supreme Lord giving up all this. Or doing pranam to Harikatha, the speaker to audience who are hearing. Organizer like the partners than others. Are here like you all. And 
to the place or oh, today where we are sitting and hearing katha guru vrindavan so then pranam to all and thus engaging his ears mind and heart in the hari katha then shabda and then sadhak bhakti and prema bhakti satam prasangam vidya sambhaga ubhavan terit karana rasayana katha tat jyotsnat aksu apavart vatmani shabda rati and first is sadhan bhakti second is bhava bhakti and third is comes surely tat khana i told you so <coughs> if you are practicing that oh this is all <coughs> sadhan but shri bhakti no thak in his bhajan ash it has not translated into english by soon it will come very soon it will come in english in hindi we have done so he has divided this sadhan into eight parts how a day 24 hours can be divided into eight parts in day three parts morning mid day evening after and in night three one no, before that pradosh pradosh means dawn some some darkness coming and then midnight and last and then to morning and and dawn these eight parts so bhajan is also like that it can be divided into eight parts what nishant bhajan that is shabda what is shabda what is shabda yes what is shabda where is the speaker shila christmas congratulations on as a fine shabda as follows shabda shabda vishwas ka hai surida is joined krishna bhakti that one who has a very firm and unflinching determination that just by engaging in devotional service then i have no other duty to perform that by performing devotional service that this is in my very best interest so what is shraddha to explain Ramanand Brahmite Kon Bhagavanji Guru Krishna Prasad by Bhakti Lata Beach that one is traveling traversing in this material world for thousands and thousands of lives in different bodies in different Are universes all can all can all hear me yeah yeah oh they traveling through different universes and different species of lives and one who is fortunate he received um, by mercy of guru then there's the bhakti lata beach the seed of devotion so this seed of devotion this is shraddha it has the internal aspect and external this bhakti lata beach 
The external is Shraddha, this faith that we've described, Shraddha Shabdi Vishishkani Sudhi Danish Jodhi. And the internal is Krishna Seva Vashna. So, this Krishna Seva Vashna means the desire to serve Krishna. And this is inherent within the heart of all living entities. Shulip Krishna's Kavaraj Goswami has also explained, Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadhukabunayam Shravanadi Shudhichite Koroi Udoi That this um, Krishna Prem, that it is inherent within all living entities. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadhukabunayam Shravanadi Shudhichite Koroi Udoi That how is it awoken? It is awoken by the process of hearing and chanting, just as Gurudev has explained, that one who comes in contact with bona fide Sadhguru, that he is speaking very sweet Harikata, but it is not just words, but Shabda Brahma, transcendental sound. Such Sadhguru, he is empowered with Surup Shakti, and when that Surup Shakti emanating from his heart, comes from his lips and manifests in the form of transcendental sound, Shabda Brahma. Then it enters into the ear and into the heart of that devotee who is listening um, attentively in a submissive manner. And in this way, there is a um, awakening of that dormant love of God which is within the heart. This process is the transmission of Swarup Shakti which um, awakens this shraddha, shraddha which is within the heart of the devotee. So it is not that Sadhguru is giving shraddha, but rather he is awakening that which is already there. Param Guru Dev, he gives the example. Without mercy of Sadhguru, then there is no question of this shraddha which is dormant within the heart of the living entity being awoken. So the example is given that at the Param Guru Dev Shila Bhakti Nitya Lila Vishnu Vishnu Padas Dottara Satishishma Shila Bhakti Pagyam Keshi Pusamarat He gives the example that if one goes on the bank of the Ganges and plants many different types of seeds mango seed, guava seed, neem seed, uh, orange and then you bring water and then you water these seeds. Then in due course of time, with water, with sunlight, air, these different ingredients, then these seeds, they will start to sprout. And they will not all be the same, but according to what seed is there within the ground, with proper conditions, then that particular seed will manifest. So in the same way, the living entity has an eternal relationship with the Supreme Lord. Jivaras Rupa Hoy Krishna Nitya Das. What specific type of Nitya Das, eternal servant, that is there and it is awoken by this process of submissive hearing and surrendering at the Lotus Peter Sun. It may be Madhya Madhikari, association, no harm. But he should be qualified, really in Madhya Madhikari. <coughs> Renown should be there. Oh, this attachment for what they think should be there. And then Shraddha comes. What is Shraddha? He told so much faith in the words of Shastra, like Gita, Bhagavad and others. So much faith in the words of Vaishnava and so much faith in the words of Krishna. This is external symptom of Shraddha and internal desire to serve Krishna. 
if you desire to serve Krishna, but no faith in the words of Vaishnava, Guru and Shastra, then that desire is not perfect. Bogus. Bogus. If Shraddha will be there, then what to tell? If he has not even Guru, but he will have a full faith in, a strong faith in the words of Shastra, Krishna and Krishna. Oh, this faith, with this faith, hearing Hari Katha, or now he will wish that I must have a Guru. And that Guru will be bona fide. If there is no full, a strong faith, it may be that a bogus Guru you can select. Bogus. This Guru will not be perfect. You have some faith in Shastra and you think that I must be happy. How happy? With worldly things. And for this, you are searching a Guru. Krishna will not help you. According to desire, he will be a Guru. And then you can choose Bogus Guru instead of high class of one of high two. So, this Shraddha, if real Guru is, he has not achieved. When it will be? After second Sadhusha. He will think a need of having a Guru, one of five. And then Ajahn will come with Shraddha. And then <coughs> offering yourself in the blood of feet of Guru, Sadguru. And by his by his advice and guidance. If he will do bhajan, then or not, then it will be done. Otherwise, no. Never and never. So, bring bhajan and bhajan. Oh, this is prata bhajan. And morning bhajan. Sadha. Pitha nartha nevritti. Try to trying to give up on us and for this he will chant him remember him. Then it will be Prata Bhajan. And after this Purvanda Bhajan will come and that is Nishtha Bhajan. Nishtha Bhajan means what a statement. No ruchi, no taste even. But we know that without bhajan we cannot be happy. So, anats are there, so somewhat. No taste has, not taste has come, but even steadiness. I will do bhajan, do or die. Then we like do up. I may not prolong, do up. First. We have one day desire. Oh, but I must meditate Supreme Lord. Krishna sent messenger like Narada Rishi and go and taste. He tested. Oh, he was in a very strong. So, <coughs> Now Krishna told that, oh, then you should give Diksha and Mantra and some process and he gave. And very soon he took Dasana of Narayana. But 
worldly desire was there. So he received the kingdom of for 36,000 years and Krishna then disappeared. He was weeping and weeping. What I did? I was searching some broken glasses and eyes, but I neglected. And then it was me. So, this is the thing. Hmm? With a nishtha. Oh, no test, but ye steadiness. I must go. I must chant one vaccine. I wish. After that, I may take water or I may. No test. He sleeps. But he thinks that, oh, if I am sleeping, then I cannot do. So he hangs his sikha anywhere. <laughs> like this. So he does. Anyhow, this is all this too. And Madhyan Bhajan. Madhyan is midday Bhajan. Ruchi Bhajan. Ruchi. If Ruchi comes, oh, not so much fear. Not. But the Ruchi in Shadhan Bhajan, Shavanam, Kirtan, Shmaran, Ruchi comes. Taste comes. If there is taste, no idleness, no sleeping, not all this. And after some time, oh, Aparan Bhajan, in afternoon, that is Krishna Shakti come. Asakti to, first asakti to, attachment to bhajan, and then object of bhajan, Krishna comes. Oh, very good. Anartha, can, most of the anartha is done. Some, some smell is there. All anartha now sleeping. But if they will have chance, they may have very little chance. But very chance. Like her, like others. They may fall. Then Shayan Bhajan, Bhava Bhakti. Bhava Bhakti. What is Bhava Bhakti? I will define after all. And then Pradosh, some darkness come. And then Vipralambha Prem. Vipralambha means feeling separation. Aitina Dayadrana, He Madhura Nath Pada Valokase, Hidayam Tada Alu Pakata. Daita Brahmati Kim Param. Oh Lord, what should I do? What should I do? I Nanda Kuma. Oh Nanda Nanda. Now I am hopeless, hopeless, hopeless. Waiting. Matsurana. As Gopi are feeling separation. Oh, he is taking some observation. I am very far away from Krishna. I cannot survive my life without you. Like this table. This is separation. Vipranamba Prem. Now, after Rati, Prem is the Bhav. Prem is the Bhav. And then Ratri Bhajan. Sambho prayed bhajan with love and affection. Sometimes 
इन भजन और कृष्ण कम्स और गोपीज कमिंग इन ऑल एशोर्स एंड इन शेकिंग सीन एवरीथिंग एंड इट इज ट्रू वार I'm starting Radha and Krishna like this, this, and Radha and Krishna are together, and we are serving this. So these are eight shots, but these shots are divided into three: Shadan Bhakti, Bhav Bhakti. Why three? Why not two? Sadhana bhakti and prema bhakti. Bhav bhakti is different from sadhana bhakti. And also different from prema bhakti. So we must accept this how Rupa Goswami has told this. In Sadhana Bhakti, so much anarchs are there. And yes, feeling of pain and, and so many things. Oh, in this Sadhana. But in pain, nothing like so. He is unaware of all these things, worldly things. No pain, no pain, nothing. But in how there may be some coming, some obstacles, obstacles. But he overcomes. At the time of how it may be so many things will come. Obstacles for how shall but he not in prevention by any of them. But in Premi, that might not like when Sukhde Goswami was in his second position, he never felt any worldly thing. So, this is half of the we must accept. Even sadhana has been divided into two by the bhakti and what is by the bhakti? Can you? You? What is that? Vadi bhakti? Vadi bhakti is described as that we engage in the activities of hearing, speaking, associating with the bodies, but our faith is dominated by fear for the rules and instructions given in the Shastra. If I don't do this, oh, I will not attain bhakti, or so many reactions will come. So out of fear, he is following the process of sadhana bhakti. What he told? Krishna Bhajan Prabhu. From the process of hearing about bhakti, one is awakened and follows out of a sense of duty or out of a sense of fear only. There is no strong attachment or natural uh, awakening of that dormant uh, shraddha. It's just a sense of duty or uh, obligation based on fear. If anyone has greed, Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Matit Kriyatam Kutopijati Lakvete Tattar Laulnam Api Mulindamenika Janma Koti Sukhtirna Bhakti can be attained by what? Sukhkriti 
and less and less sukriti. If it is so strong, then sadhu sangha. And by sadhu sangha, bhakti. Yes. But this sadhu sangha, oh, if a great comes to serve Krishna, like Shakha, Shubhat Sakam Madhumanga, like Nandva Bhajasu, like Rukhmanjya Gyan. This greed is so, so valuable that even this supriti of lakhs and lakhs plus but who can it give this thing? Really it is very rare. I have read anywhere in the books of Swamiji, the Bhakti Vedanta, that if a man is like this, have come to this position, Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Mati Kriyatam Kutopi And if he has attained this thing, then he is, oh what? Krishna consciousness. He is the member of Krishna consciousness. Otherwise not. So if anyone is like this, that is his own reality. Otherwise not, and they can never be. So <coughs> if anyone has not greed, actually, and he follows the directions of Shastra, Without bhajan, oh, serving father, mother, wife, husband, children, and oh, uh, what? Desh bhakti, country, this will not do anything. You will have to go, if you are not doing bhajan of Krishna, then you will have to go in help. So, I must do bhajan, but no taste, nothing is there. He is doing some hot sadhu, sangha. Then it is called vaidhi. Vaidhi bhakti. So, sadhan are vaidhi and raga raga. If he has greed, actual greed, bona fide greed, then that is called raga nuga bhajan. And without greed, money following the principles, strictly with Shastra, that is backed by the money. Really, Shadhan is Raganga. This is Shadhan. Then, what is Shadhan? Kriti Shadhya. Bhavet Shadhya. So, Shadhan is Shadhya. Nitya Siddha Shadhya. Do you think that it is very hard subject? You want to hear Hari, uh, sweet pastimes or this? Very important subject. Important subject. But somehow someone are sleeping. No. So, some are sleeping. What to do? A medicine should be given. <laughs>
Bhakti has been divided into two, Kaidi Bhakti and Gandhi. So Kaidi, what is Sadhana? Or object of Bhajan Sadhana is Anna Ilasita Sanyam Gyan Karmat Janatam Ankulle Nitrishnam Shriyam Bhakti. This is object. Pure Uttama Bhakti. This is object. So, when we are doing exercising this, then if our object to attain Bha, Rati, then it is called Shah. If we have no goal of Sadhana and Khaja, and you are doing oh Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare Hare chanting or oh, reading books also doing so many oh 64 limbs of bhakti you are doing but not sadhana not pure sadhana some blends of sadhana what I told you said that uh, Uh, you, first you were describing the two different uh, types of uh, bhakti, uh, uh, Raganuga bhakti and then sadhana bhakti, Vaidhi bhakti. And everyone explained that Vaidhi bhakti is out of fear and, and a duty to do the proper thing. And then uh, Raganuga bhakti, you actually have greed to do. And now you were starting to describe uh, the different, I don't know the word, sadhana, object, and you have to, and you have to do your uh, sadhana with an object, you have to do the bhajan with some object, uh, with some goal. What goal? Oh, to attend money? No. <laughs> what you want? No. Hey, no. What, what should be our trip? Prema Bhakti. You want oh, so you Bhava. Have you have not. Try to listen more carefully. You master, can you? Beja master? Or why not? Beja master. What? Um, good what I told? You were explaining that um, if anyone is not answering, and who will answer, I will tell him to twist I will now uh, call ladies devotees, and if they will answer correct, I will tell oh, you should twist him. <laughs> so be ready for this. You were saying if we are chanting, worshipping, doing so many things, 64 limbs, but if one does not have an object of rati, then then this is not called sadhana. Not pure sadhana. Shab blends of Kriti sadhya bhavet sadhya bhava. Oh, like it has been told in Anna Vilasita So, what Anandasita meaning? The creation of all the activities of the body, mind, word, and especially spiritual rules, for, which is faithfully performed for the pleasure of Krishna, which is not covered by fruitive activities, mental speculation, <coughs> and which is flowing like a fluid, unbroken current of honey. This is Uttambhakti. So, you are in the world. Shravanam, Kirtan, Vishnu, Smarana. But you are criticizing Vaishnava. You don't obey your Guru. And you don't have love for Vaishnava. But you are chanting, rebelling, doing all other things. What is this? This is Sarvasiddha Bhakti or not? Uh, 
it is if one is performing the angas of bhakti ah, there are six the nine angas of the nine angas of bhakti the nine angas of bhakti also matura vas and giving parikrama to vrindavan govardhan even yeah. but he is then not obeying guru vishnu no love for <coughs> then what it is this is described by sarva uh, siddha bhakti are not yes but it must not bogas ko you know upare baat chinde ta suki jaye baat jodi vishnu apara uthe hathi mata upare baat chinde ta suki jaye what is the meaning what Now not living, or his life finished. So if he is doing aparad, or his bhakti is not there, aparute, oh, ho gaya. Everything he is doing, because ankulle ne Krishna bhak, Sila ne bhakti utama. It should be favorable of bhakti. Is it favorable for bhakti? No. All doing, he, he is doing. Then what is this? It has been appropriate. So no bhakti. It looks like bhakti. For whom? Those who are not pure devotees. For them, he it may be. They are agya. For them, or they think. Oh, he is doing sastang pranam, hundred eight times at a place and with Govardhan Parikhain, so many years. Oh, how he is very close. But he has really no faith in Guru Vaishnava and he is criticizing. Oh, what I am doing, they kind of, my Guru never did it, what I am doing. Swami Ji never did it. Oh, Shastang Pranam to 108. But I am doing, I am doing Nidhyaya Ekasi, but he cannot do. He never did. Oh, this. Then Aparute. Bhakti is Aparute. So, favorable. If not favorable, no Bhakti at all. For ignore bad persons, it may be not. What are you? No, nothing, nothing, nothing wrong. Nothing. Oh, no life there. So Bhakti no Thakur and Shilaru Goswami has a wonder. Very, very, oh, very careful for this. Don't criticize even in dream. If in dream comes, then what do you should do? Go to Ganja, go to river. Go to ocean and forgiveness should be there. Antap will be there. Repentation will be there. Takati sadhya bhaveta sadhya bha. You are devouring by your all senses and not doing apara. Even by your moods. How? To obtain how the oh, then it can call sadhan bhakti. But you should know that how or pain is not a thing to be obtained by sadhan. It is nitya siddha. What is bhav? We should know. For who? Which is the aim and object of sadhana? Sadhana. What is? What is that? Sutta sattva. Vishesh atma. Nitya siddhasya bhavasya. Prakriti. 
शुद्ध सत्व प्रेम विशेष आत्मा प्रेम सुज्ञान सुशाम्य भाव चित्तम मार्शिंड कृदशो भाव पर इन द मिनी ओ प्रेम भाव इज शुद्ध सत्व जिसकी सत्ता है और लाइक वी एग्जिस्ट ट्री एग्जिस्ट दिस हाउस एग्जिस्ट द बॉडी ऑफ कृष्ण और एनीथिंग ऑफ बोलो वृंदावन बाय कुंडी और सत्ता सत्ता इन मेटेरियल सत्ता एंड स्पिरिचुअल ट्रांसडेंटल बड़ी सत्ता इज मल्ली विशी प्रतीति एंड समथिंग नॉट प्रतीति एंड शुद्ध सत्ता There are two kinds of shuddha sattva. In one, the associates of eternal associates, associates of Krishna, and in them, certain mood, transcendental certain mood of Krishna is there. Oh, this is called shuddha sattva. No? Where it is, nitya shuddha in the associates of eternal associates. In Mother Jasoda, in Subal Sada, in Gopis, Sutta Sutta, and by following them, practicing by the method process told by Rup Goswami, or oh, it will come here. Where Nitya Siddha Bhav here also, to Nitya Siddha Bhav there also. And here, where in the transcendental uh, constitution of Shakti, also we all have somebody, a spiritual body. We have, and that is covered with her own Maya. Now we are thinking that we are this physical body, and. Related things, all oh, it is not. But this is all. Krishna is mine, and his eternal sake. This is him. So any of the kinds of uh, dasya, shakha, asala, any of these, oh, we have body like. If you read the uh, book of Sri Bhakti Nanak Thakur, they will have mine also. Mahaprabhu, Sikh Shastra. In first slope, he has told very strong. Like Krishna, he has body, transcendental body, Satchi Dhan. And Jiva is also like this. Very beautiful, sweet, all these things, but now covered. Only potency is there. And like he gave an example that there are various kinds of seeds, and you can, in the same soil, on the bank of Ganges, and water is same water. Or the same sun is giving him light. Everything he is doing, and same gardener plants and supports and medicine. But what will be? Only what the seed has potency. Only that will come. Tamarind like tamarind. Mango like mango, if the seed is of 
other thing. Neem tree or jackfruit, Malli Devi. So, also like a, an example. Uh, you know, in sea, Parus are there. At that time, if in the constellation of Swati Nakshatra, water fall in the same water, if it will come in banana tree, it will be camphor. If it will come in the elephant pool, then it will be Gajamura. If it will cause hoops, then and why? Why? So, the potency is in water or in the, the objects? In both. Without the help of that rain, they cannot come. But it will come what is the, in the potency. So, Shadak may be four thousand and so on. But he he follows anyone. Ragatnik Jan. Where Rag is in their Atma, to serve Krishna they are certain. And if any Shadak following them, strictly in the process of Rupa Goswami, then Nitya Siddha Bhav in Shadak they are. Oh, it will manifest. Understand? Can you define why you are writing also? Try. Try. Go on. Nitya Siddhasya Bhavasya Prakattam Aridhi Shatyata. Who will, who will do? <laughs> you? I can, I can try. Right. Fools rush in where angels first to tread. So you were describing, you were describing that uh, depending on the nature of the object where the rain is falling, uh, different... Same rain. Same rain, but because different seeds, here you get mango, here you get jackfruit, here you get neem. And then you also described that during a certain nakshatra, swati nakshatra, the rain is coming, but if it falls on elephant, produces one elephant pearl. And if it uh, falls on oyster pearl, if it falls on banana leaf, it, and camphor if it falls on deer musk. So depending on the object, uh, different I don't know, results. results will manifest. And it is important to have both because without the rain, okay. can, nothing can be manifested. And if there is no, nothing in there, there oh, a rain cannot do anything. So both are needed. So Nitya Siddha Bhava, both here also? There. Yeah. And when they will meet together, then oh, the, our Nitya Siddha Bhava will come. Try to digest up till now, uh, up to this point, and we will discuss tomorrow. Very important. Good.